Hey, I'm Pete with uh, Boat Paddle Boards. We're here in the dark room with Logan, my assistant. And today we're going to talk about doing uh, repairs on inflatables. So we just got this back from a customer. It's supposed to have a hole in it. So we're going to go ahead and blow it up and show you guys how we normally check for holes and, and repair them. Logan, if you want to go ahead and blow this up, we just use a uh, 110 pump. It blows it up between uh, three and four PSI, which is good enough for us to find a leak. Okay, now we just take regular soap and water and a brush and we just start looking for the seam or a leak. Typically, a lot of the boards that come back, it is a valve leak, which is not a warranty, not a repair. In the repair kit we give you, there is a, uh, a valve tool to tighten it up, which is this guy right here. And it simply goes down in there and you turn it. So what, what Logan's doing, he's going around and wetting all the seams. And within a few seconds, we'll see it bubble if there's a leak there. And we see, we see no leak on this side. Let's go ahead and flip it. If it's not a seam that, that leaks, then we just start checking the whole thing out. Go ahead. Not seeing anything. Let's just start checking the whole board. And here we, we found our leak right off the bat. It's almost like he knew where the leak was. So this is what happens when you find the leak. It'll take the soap and you, you catch the air escaping out of it. So now we know where the leak is. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and repair it. You wanna deflate or you wanna do it inflated? Uh, we'll deflate, okay. So let's go ahead and mark that really good. So we're just marking it because even, even with a close up, you can't see the hole, it's a small puncture. So we're going to go ahead and deflate it. And when we deflate them, we deflate them all the way, take all the air out of them. Okay, so here we are with no air in it whatsoever, and now it's time to start cleaning. And now even the, the acids off your, uh, your fingers or sweat will keep this glue from working. So, oh, we're taking acetone and cleaning it with acetone. In a real dirty situation, we'll take 220 sandpaper and we'll just scuff the surface. A lot of times we wanna make sure if it's a salt water use board, we definitely wanna make sure all the salt water is off of it. And then I'll clean that vinyl off one more time and we'll let it dry. And I am cleaning the acids off my fingers. So now we're gonna take the repair kit that we send with the board 
We can decide what color we want. What do you think, Logan? White? Probably white. Okay. So we're going to go in with the smallest patch we can. If this patch was to leak, we can patch over the patch and pretty much guarantee that we're going to uh, get it. And I'm just going to outline it with an ink pen, just so it's not as messy when we put the uh, glue on it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean the patch. And this is the glue that's sent with the uh, kit. Puncture the tip. And we just use just a little bit of glue. It's amazing how small the amount of glue that we need. So you can see here, very little amount of glue is needed. The more glue you use, the longer the dry time is. And we're gonna do this within just a few seconds. So now we're going to let the glue dry for about five minutes. And we want it not to be tacky to the touch. It's, we don't want it tacky at all. So we're going to let it sit up a couple more minutes before we put the patch on there. It's been about five minutes, so we're going to go ahead and stick this. And here we go. So we're going to let it sit just a couple more minutes. And then we're going to grab the edge and make sure the edge doesn't pull up. And this one, it does not. Now, we did not put any glue outside the square. You don't really need to. Uh, and it just gets you a better, better looking repair. Now, one trick that we have learned uh, at times, if the if it's moist, if the it, the temperature is cool and there's moisture in the air, we will go ahead and use a heat gun, and we're going to do that just to show you what it looks like. And I'm not using a whole lot of heat. If you can't hold your hand up against the heat, it's too much heat. So on this one, we're, we're, we're using it just in the middle. Put a little heat on there and just make sure that the glue is dry. And that's it. Now we're going to test it and see what happens. You ready to fill it up, Logan? Yep, let's inflate it. All right. Now we're going to come back and test it and make sure it's not leaking. And there you go. No more bubbles. We're going to call this a good repair and go hit the water with it. <laughs>